morning. It's Ryan back here with season three of the morning show. Hard to believe. I season? believe this is the start of is our third winter. Yeah. Is it really? It is, unbelievably nice. so. Not uh, two years ago, almost exactly, I was sitting here uh, stuttering while trying to talk to Claude Diamond, which uh, just blew me sideways. But uh, we're back. This is, this is another milestone this year, and I didn't tell you this, or any, even Jerry doesn't know this, but it's my 10th year. 10th year of channel, channel 18. 18. Outside television the whole time? No, we were actually Resort Sports Network. In the old days, um, Resort Sports Network was the national affiliate. And he, uh, um, Jeff DeMoz, who actually started the television station, met up with the owner of the Outside Magazine on vacation in Maui. They were oh, surfing. Just, just random. Random, yeah. surfing together. Oh, that's cool. And they both had kids the same age, and they were like, so they started hanging out at the bar and talking, and they were staying at the same hotel, and blah, blah, blah. That's how it fell into play. And then they partnered up, and it became Outside Television, I think, at 09. So maybe 09 turned into that. So but like, actually, yeah, Resort run. Sports Network was started in Stratton in the 70s. So we got a lot of history. We're across the nation. As we know, Mike loves mm -hmm. his history. So. Stop it. No, Come I'm on. just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it started the third season uh, is a big time of the year for us. Also, yes. because we're talking skiing. And I hate to admit this, but uh, just recently, on November 12th, I was mountain biking at Granby Ranch up on the 85-87 uh, exit. Unbelievable conditions. I've never mountain biked. I think I've mountain biked on November 1st once, and it was kind of a limp along in the snow. Hey, we were out riding dirt bikes Saturday, so it was Just, awesome. I mean, I, yeah, obviously we're all doing our snow dance, yep. and we're all hoping for snow, but it, we've had the most gorgeous fall, three years running now. We've had just some amazing falls to get a lot of great We'll activity. get the snow. Yeah. It'll come. By May, it's always been long enough. You know, it's, it's, it's enough. never been a problem. So. We'll get snow. So. I'm sure there's a lot of nervous people that have put a lot of money into their vacations. And, yeah. uh, yeah, and, we'll and it. as come. locals, too, we exactly. all love Parkway. It's the most fabulous run on the hill for at least a week. But, uh, the ribbon of death. It, you know, the, yeah, the, the quicker we can get that puppy open, the, the happier we all are. We just need some cold locals. nights. It's been so warm. Yeah. I mean, we've been seeing... You That's know, the problem. High, our lows have been in the uh, you know, high 20s, low 30s, and they just don't make snow. We're used to man-made snow, but you got to have 28 degrees or less. 28 so, yeah. makes the best. They'll blow some water out there at 29 and 30, but it doesn't work too well. So let's get rad. Let's talk about the show today. Let's get rad. Yeah. Um, what is the show today? Did I tell you? Did we I, brief I think we got, a few, we got a few good uh, people on. For oh, yeah. one, we're going to get to hang out with my favorite, Steph Carey. Uh, we're going to talk Steph. a little bit about Coop Creek Square, our home here of Some 20 new, shops and restaurants. New stuff, new yeah. cool stuff. Um, There's always fun things One of my on. favorite restaurants, Da Vinci's, is actually, Leo is still here, but he's flipping a little bit. And um, One of good. our favorite restaurants and maybe probably our favorite chef in town. Leo is... He's awesome. Personality, he's just, he's a great guy. Yep, yep. Absolutely love the guy. Food is incredible. So he's flipping it to uh, Leo's Kitchen off of Da Vinci, same location, doing a bunch of renovation and, um, you know, changing the menu up a little New bit. menu, great happy hour. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Yeah, the, the and he'll throw it. some parties because Leo likes to party. So. <laughs> Always. He's, he's <laughs> definitely good for that in town. He's well known. He's yep. a local legend for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. No, awesome uh, parties too. Great DJs, some live music. Fashion shows. Did you catch that fashion show? I did not show? go to the fashion oh, shows, but awesome. I heard it was a riot. It was a riot. Absolute riot. It was awesome. Yeah. Furs and skin and huge crowd. Bikinis yeah. and it was great. Tim, Hub speaking of local legends, Tim Hubbard. This guy's been in the valley for a long time. He's actually my roommate in 2004-5, uh, way back then. He was my roommate. I think he's bartending at the pub, getting ready for his next venture. Now he owns a couple <laughs> restaurants in town, naming, namely uh, one right at the base of the resort, Vertical right. Bistro. Uh, right in the village. Yeah. In my opinion, that's definitely the classiest, nicest, best food in the village. If you're going to oh, go yeah. out to a nice dinner, go to Vertical. Yep, Great yep. happy hour as well. Yep, yep. One of, one of my faves, we get up there a little bit, um, but right in the center of the village is where Vertical is. But um, he has, have you tried the avocado um, tacos? So they're oh, fried I no. avocado tacos. So he like takes avocado and rolls them like in a panko, like little swi uh, swatches, like little um, like a taquito kind of thing. Yeah, kind of, and like well, no, they're like regular tacos. It's just one of his taco menu. But yeah, and so basically he takes the avocados, wedges them, runs them in a panko, and then just quick fries them. And they're really good. I was like, this is going to be weird, but it was awesome. A lot of small crunchy plates. Crunchy on the outside, you know, soft on the inside. Those really especially, good. but a lot of great small plates. So you can get oh, a yeah. variety for a yeah, lot yeah, of fun. Yeah. A great place yeah, to hang out. Just a great menu. And uh, being really a long-term local, he wears many, many hats in town, including, is he president of the Blue Society? He is, and that's why we ask him in. Yep. Because the Blue Society's, you know, they've been doing the Blue shows, I think, for like 15 years now. 14 or 15 years. And it's a lot of work. And they're a small board, and they work really hard at it. And so they're looking right. to try to do some change. They really want to kind of get some young, spirited people, young entrepreneurs. Um, 
entrepreneurial types that may want to take it over and pass the torch. They, so uh, we're looking forward to they put a lot of hearing great what, shows on. what's going on. And Wintertime, you're going to catch blues shows at mm -hmm. Smoke and Moe's downstairs yep. in Cooper Creek Square here, our barbecue joints. They always do a killer New Year's Eve show yeah. in there. It's awesome. So we're going to see what's going on in Hubbard's world. Um, the founder, John Cat, not doing so good. John, peace be with you, my brother. Um, and yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. So we've got to get some new blood and take over and... We'll see what's going on in Tennessee. One of my world. favorite uh, spots every show is, of course, the Gear Guide uh, with Christie's Sports. <laughs> Peter Ledoux, I think, might be on the show today. Yeah, we if we're lucky, we'll bump into Peter and uh, he's going to talk skiing about this. Yeah, so we're going to go pop in, in and out of Christie's throughout the winter and cover new gear and cool gear and different gear and try to make it a little bit interesting. Peter's more. a beast. He's, uh, he's been so. fitting boots for a long time up here and he does an incredible job. Wear shorts every day of the year? He does every day of the year. We're shorts to work. You'll know Peter because you just look for the look for the legs. Uh, who else we got? We're going to talk uh, dietitian dietetics That's today. Right. Yeah. Yes, I do. I have a dietitian coming on. This is National Diabetes Month, and um, many people. Prostate live month with as well, if I remember right. November is it? Is it prostate month too? Yeah. Okay. Where's the dude? I didn't do a mustache this year. What? Last year I did a mustache. Everyone else did a beard and said it was no shave November, and I said. Oh, Never. I didn't even think about it. I said, I'm it. out, man. That was it. You so. bailed? I bailed. Oh, yeah, well, well the, yeah. I can't grow a beard. I'm not going to try. Yeah, you know. Get, anyway, so yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, if it's not this month, it's next month. She'll tell us. I'm not exactly sure. But, but I asked her yeah, to come up because, uh, you know, my father had diabetes and it eventually took him out. And yeah, so it's, I think it's good to kind of keep people informed. A lot of people live with it, don't, don't even know it. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's really crazy. Yeah, yeah. B burns when I pee, and I just didn't think to ask. You know what I mean? Not really, but <laughs> do, do you need <laughs> to a, see that's a That's a big sign of a diabetes. Because right here. we have a great sponsor for the morning show. The Middle Park Medical Center can take care of that for you. Oh, very true. If State of the art uh, services right. and uh, right. all you need. But uh, right. So wait, wait. There's another special this winter, including ice fishing with Bernie. But we're not. We're not actually going to ice. Are you going to stick Jerry on the show again? No, we're not sticking oh, okay. Jerry on the show. Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> Lions Club is going to come talk because the trees are coming out. Festival soon. of trees. It's almost time for Huge Christmas. Time of the year and a fun time it's of the year awesome. for Lions Club. Yeah, so the, it, the they festival do a ton of, of work trees is really cool. Huge fun. And they raise a bunch of money for the nonprofit. So no, we. I love the lions. I'm a lion. I've been a yeah. lion since I was a kid. Um, but I have a new one. We're going to start doing some viral video stuff. Nice. What's, what's it called? Come on, say it. Viral videos. No, with no, Mike. no. What? No. <laughs> no, it's Jerry. Oh, the Jerry of the day. I'm Jerry sorry. Jerry of the day. Yes, uh, Stop Jerry it. of the day. We're going to try and get some, uh, get a little yes. laugh at someone else's expense. Because every time I wreck on the slopes, and I've, I hope you've been there too, if you double eject, oh, you yeah. yard sale, and you're laying there with your face caked in snow, you look up hoping it's a ski lift and hoping someone got to enjoy that. Right. Because there's no need in going through that embarrassment without somebody getting a good laugh. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We better take a break because Jerry's flashing the eight minute sign to us. But That's on fun. our way to the break, uh, it's going to be our theme today with every guest. Since we're so lacking snow, we're going to do a quick snow dance. Are we going to On really? our way out to break. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm with you. All right. Do you have his head? Do you have his head? It's, it's just as good if you don't, man. <laughs>